Well, astronomers have released new images this week of the Milky Way offering an unprecedented look at an enormous slice of the galaxy. Joining us live now is astrophysicist and cosmologist Brad Tucker. Brad, as always, appreciate your time today. Over three billion objects have been detected in amazing detail. Yeah, you know, this is coming from the dark energy camera taken at the four meter uh, telescope in Chile. And over five, six years, they've been essentially surveying our Milky Way galaxy in just as, as you said, exquisite detail. And by capturing over 10 terabytes worth of data, seeing three billion objects just in our own Milky Way, every little dot and slice you see is essentially an individual star in our galaxy. And it's really quite important. You know, the, the universe is obviously a very big place, but by trying to zone in and seeing the detail of the stars in our own Milky Way, what are the varieties of the populations? What are those ages? What are those properties? And sometimes just seeing that in breathtaking detail is amazing as well. And a supermassive black hole has been caught snacking on the very same star every few years. Tell me more. Yeah, so the, in these events, what we call tidal disruption events, this star usually gets too near a black hole and the black hole rips it apart. And we see this quite often. But in this case, this particular object, it, when the star gets close to the black hole, it only kind of yeah, gets a bit of it snacked on, a little bit ripped apart. But because the star never gets too near the black hole and just a little bit of gravity pulls off some of the star, the star gets kind of shot out and circles back out. But it doesn't have enough energy to escape the black hole, so it gets pulled in again, but doesn't quite make it, so the black hole chomps on it a little bit and spits it out. So it's the first time you've really seen this, essentially this repeating event where the star gets closer, a bit of it gets ripped apart, spat out by the black hole, and then comes back a few years later. This one was first discovered in 2018. And since then, they've seen two clear incidences of the star coming back, being ripped apart and spat out. And we think that it actually probably is quite common, but because it's such a small event, we usually miss it. And this one just happened to be in a relatively nearby galaxy. The images are just incredible. Now, Brad, Russia's space agency has announced new contingency plans for the three crew of a damaged capsule docked to the International Space Station. Yeah, this happened um, about a month ago when the International Space Station, they were doing a spacewalk. Uh, two cosmonauts, uh, when they were near the Russian Soyuz capsule, ground controls noticed there was uh, fuel essentially leaking out of it and shooting off essentially in all directions in space. And these tiny particles, essentially, that as the fuel left and froze, uh, posed a danger to the astronauts, and they canceled the walk. But then they realized so much fuel had leaked that the capsule is an operative. And now, the capsule so serves two important purposes. So not just does it take them up, but it is their ride back down to Earth, and it is left it in space, such that if an event were to happen, they would have to evacuate. It's their, essentially, lifeboat off the space station. And so this means that three astronauts, or two cosmonauts and an American astronaut, have been left without a ride. So NASA and Russia have been working through a variety of options. The current plan is that the next Soyuz capsule, which is scheduled to come up in March, will go up as planned, but it's going to go up empty. So the three new cosmonauts will not go in it. It will go up and then be used by that group of astronauts and cosmonauts that come back down. But if something were to happen in the meantime, they're actually making a fifth seat uh, on the SpaceX capsule docked for the other four astronauts to come down. The SpaceX capsule could take six. And the two cosmonauts will actually take the broken one down. And the idea is that two out of the three seats, it will lessen the load and impact on it and hopefully should work. So it's not the best contingency plan, but they're working through all sorts of options in a fairly unprecedented situation they've ended up in. And Brad, just finally, radio signals from a distant galaxy have been detected. Tell me more. Yeah, often when we're looking at galaxies, we're either looking through the colors of light we can see with our eyes billions of years away, or we're looking at radio light from nearby galaxies. And radio light's quite important. It tells us a lot about the very cold gas that makes up the stars and eventually the stars and planets we see today. But using some really powerful radio telescopes, they spotted uh, radio light, essentially this gas from a galaxy over 8 billion light years away. And now this is a record setter, and it's actually quite important. It's telling us a lot about the ingredients in the early parts of the universe, how much was there, and then how much can eventually form into the stars that we see today. So it's really just amazing that every week, the new inventions of technology just allow us to see that much further 
and learned that much more. It's always exciting to see what results come through. It certainly is. Brad Tucker, once again, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care.